virtually in every school you'll find there are tags and names. That actually looks cool. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Life is Strange, and we'll be playing episode two. Not much more to say, to be honest. I'm really excited to play this. Let's get into it. Alright, that doesn't really matter. Alright, so we played episode one, Awake. Now, episode two, Brave New World. So I'm not going to do like a recap because it, they should have a little cinematic recap. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. There's probably music playing right now. I don't know, guys. I feel like she's using us for something. I just have a feeling. Because she said she was good at acting. Yeah, I'm just going to say it. I reckon she's using us. I reckon she's acting. There's no way that she fell in love that fast. There is no way. She just casually starts a forest fire. Alright, where are we? Looks like a teacher's office. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, no. What? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, no. Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Confirmation uh. of drug use. What? Allegedly. I didn't see any witnesses. This is not a trial, Miss Price. This is a sentencing. Shall I continue? 
Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... Spelled? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. No, she isn't. She really isn't. There was literally written all over that. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No.
But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is so. Such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Take the blame, let's see if we can no do it. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, right, I'll have in, to go down in flames in. if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. All right, all right, all right. You're punishing her for taking the blame for me? For trying to be a good person? That makes you even more clueless than I thought. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Gotta look for smart words. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. We're not friends. Yes, yes, we don't come on. braid each other's hair or whatever dumb shit girls do together. Apologize, Chloe. That's enough. Fine. Did I get it? Did I, I get it? I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she could yes! handle it, I would have gone it alone. Let's go! That's enough. Your loyalty to each other might be admirable, but nothing else about your attitude or behavior is. My decision stands. Miss Price will be suspended for the rest of the school year. Miss Amber will be cut from the play. What? I thought I got it. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. Didn't I get it? That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Did I not get it? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you. In the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh. Just wanted to say it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I thought I got I that check. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. 
Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Should I? Take the photo. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Guess I'm throwing all my books out. <laughs> Low price, ten almost. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? What? Damn it, Justin. Bruh. <laughs> Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? What is she going to write? How does she have this much ink? Holy... <laughs> Yo! I could just see that breaking. <laughs> Episode 2, Brave New World. I'm surprised there's not tags already in the bathroom. Literally in every school you'll find there are tags. And names. That actually looks cool. Just gonna go in there and see everything. <laughs> 